Hi there, I'm Kim McDonald. This is Out of This World, where we talk about all things space. You know, back in November of 2021, NASA sent out a spacecraft into space, of course. And what was it trying to do? It was trying to hit a moon that is circling around an asteroid. Its name was DART. I'm going to bring in our science writer, Scott Sutherland, to talk about this. Why would they do it? Let's begin with DART itself. So can you describe this spacecraft? What does it look like and, and what was the mission? Right, uh, so DART is the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. It's, it's basically a, a spaceship about the size, possibly the mass of a, of a vending machine. With, uh, with big long solar panels to power it. Uh, and it was uh, from its launch on November 24th last year, it traveled about 10 months uh, to get about 11 million kilometers from Earth. And from there, it was homing in on this double asteroid, uh, Didymos and Dimorphos, uh, with, the, with the smaller 160 meter wide Dimorphos orbiting around a uh, larger 780 meter Didymos. That's so fascinating to me that an asteroid would have its own little moon. Yeah, is, is, uh, is there, this, there, this is thing? more common. This is more common than we think, actually. Okay. Some of those cases. Yeah. So why does NASA want to hit this little moon? What is the purpose of this? Right. So um, basically, they want to be able. To, they want to know if they can divert this path of an asteroid that is a danger to us. Now, Didymos and Dimorphos are completely safe. There's no danger from them at all. But it's an easy target to make this kind of test. It's a kinetic impactor test. So all you're doing is taking the spaceship and you're not, you're not doing anything fancy with it. You're just flying it at top speed so it smashes into that asteroid and you want to watch afterwards, which is what they're doing now, to see if they've altered the orbit of Dimorphos around Didymos. Okay, so this, it finally hit. That's what's happened yeah. in recent days. That's right. Uh, and, and they still have to figure out how successful they were. But right. is the purpose of this to, in the most simplest of terms, save planet Earth? Yeah, uh, we, the, we don't know of any asteroids that are a danger to us right now. But that doesn't mean that 20 years from now, 50 years from now, we're not going to find one that is a danger to us. Right. And so we want a way to to sort of guarantee that we're going to be able to save ourselves from this in the future okay so if the dinosaurs had had a dart they may still be here today because we as we know it was an asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs right exactly so this is to sort of uh guarantee that we are going to be able to continue on as a civilization um we have to, you know, be able to find the, the asteroids and comets that it would be a danger to us, keep track of them. And then this is the final test, uh, being able to find the ways that we can use to uh, divert these, these uh, rocks off of their course. This is what this specific test was for, DART, mm -hmm. um, just to divert it off its course so that um, it goes onto a safe trajectory rather than one that's a danger to us. So with 30 seconds left to go, this was money right. well spent. Yeah, um, it, I mean, they still have to figure out if they've actually altered the orbit of Dimorphos. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, from all indications, it looks like they have, or they probably will have. So uh, that from this, they can use that information to then uh, plot whether they could do something with something larger uh, and, and, and have a way of, of saving us in the future from something that would have destroyed us otherwise.